Can you guys hear me? Assalamu alaikum. Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillahi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Inshallah, today we will reflect upon one of the most beautiful and common names of Allah, Al Alim, which means the omniscient, the all knowing. The attribute signifies that Allah's omniscient knowledge encompasses everything, both the visible and the invisible, the past, the present, and the future. It is a, it is a reminder that Allah's knowledge is perfect, infinite, and incomprehensible to our limited human knowledge. In the Quran, Al Alim appears 157 times in 17 different variations. One thing that we should understand is that knowledge is given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Al-Baqarah verse 32, Allah says, قَالُوا سُبْحَانَكَ لَا عِلْمَ لَنَا إِلَّا مَا عَلَمْتَنَا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْعَلِيمُ الْحَكِيمُ So they replied, Allah is talking about the angels, Glory be to you, we have no knowledge except of what you have taught us. You are truly the all-knowing, the all-wise. This verse is a testament to how all creatures have their limitations by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And without his permission, we, they could not know anything beyond what he allowed for them. So we don't know what we don't know. Uh, we may ask for forgiveness for things that we know we did wrong. Um, but about, what about the things that we are not aware of? So we have to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all of our sins. Another thing is understanding that Allah is aware of all things, even before they happen. He is the knower of details, and nothing is unnoticed and unrecorded. In Surah Luqman, verse 34, Allah says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ عِنْدَهُ عِلْمَ السَّاعَةِ وَيُنَزِّلُ الْغَيْثِ وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْأَرْحَامِ وَيَعْلَمُ مَا فِي الْأَرْحَامِ وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ مَاذَا تَكْسِبُ وَقَدًا وَمَا تَدْرِي نَفْسٌ بِأَيِّ أَرْضٍ تَمُوتُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَلِيمٌ خَبِيرٌ Indeed, Allah alone has the knowledge of the hour, sends down the rain, and knows what is in the wombs. No soul knows what they will earn tomorrow, and no soul knows in which land they will die. Indeed, Allah is the all-knowing, is the alim. This verse emphasizes that Allah knows the hour, the day of judgment, when it will come, and reminding the believers that they'll always be prepared for that day. It also shows that Allah controls over the essential elements of life, such as rain, and the perfect knowledge of the creation, including the womb. It also reminds us as humans of our limitations in knowing the future, such as our earnings and where will be our place of death. Lastly, understanding that Allah, we should have, we should have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He's the all-knowing. So in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 216, وَعَسَىٰ أَن تَقْرَهُ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ وَعَسَىٰ أَن تُحِبُّ شَيْئًا وَهُوَ شَرٌ لَكُمْ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ وَأَنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Fighting has been enjoined upon you while it is hateful to you. But perhaps you hate a thing but it's good for you. And perhaps you love a thing but it's harmful for you. And Allah is knowing He's the Alim while you know not. While you know not. In this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ which is essentially a different way of him saying that Allah is the Alim. But if we look at the verse, we see that it teaches us that sometimes we may dislike something, but it's actually good for us. And sometimes we may not like something, or may like something, but it's harmful for us. So but Allah is the all-knowing, so He knows what's best for us, so we should trust His wisdom and His plan. So as we reflect about these, upon these verses that I talked about, we come to an understanding that Allah's omniscient power, knowledge, transcends time and space. He's aware of everything from the tiniest atom to the expanse of the universe. So the, this realization should humble us so we'd be reminded that we have little knowledge because we're humans and understand that He gave us that knowledge. So knowing that Allah is the Alim should instill a sense of comfort and reassurance in our hearts because we can trust Allah with our struggles, our aspirations and our deepest thoughts. So when we face challenges and many decisions, we should turn to Allah for guidance, knowing that He's fully aware of our circumstances and will guide us in the best possible way. To conclude, let us strive to deepen our knowledge, our understanding and appreciation of Allah's infinite knowledge. 
May we, inshallah, draw closer to him by seeking his guidance, trusting his wisdom, and constantly remembering that he is the all-knowing, the alim. Subhanaka Allahumma bihamdik, ashadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruk wa atubu ilaik. Jazakum Allah khairan wa assalamu alaikum. I'm going to go over the questions from yesterday, inshallah. So, question one Prophet, Prophet Yusuf salam, concluded that the skills that lead to the status he gained was due to, and then the options were A, his efforts, B, his father's prayers, and C, Allah's will. And the correct answer was C. In the day of judgment, Satan will tell his followers A, I have your back, B, you're on your own, and C, blame yourselves. And the correct answer was C. And then question three, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the example of good word is like a good tree. It has A, firm roots and extended branches, B, fragrant flowers, and C, year-long produce. And the correct answer is A. So the winners is Haytham Saeed, <laughs> Hajar Salim, and Abu Saeed. So, I know. Um, it's a, so Hajj Salim and Abu Saeed, I don't know. Okay, that's one. Yeah, that's the other one. Yeah, that's one. Who's the other one? Hajj Salim? Yeah. Okay. I'll figure that out. Okay. The questions for today. Calling people to Allah's way should be done as Allah directed, which does not include A, gentle teaching, B, wisdom, and C, speed. As the righteous enter al-Jannah, what would be removed from their hearts? A, bitterness, B, blood, and C, sweetness. And three, the Satan has sworn to lure all mankind except for A, the prettiest woman, B, the strongest man on earth, and C, the devoted servants of Allah. Jazakallah, salam alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. Inshallah, another uh, positive thought. I just wanted to give you an update on our status with the fundraiser, inshallah. We are alhamdulillah, thank you, thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then to your generosity. We are at 98% of our target. We're just short $3,500 of our target inshallah. And I have a feeling subhanallah that before this blessed majlis is over, we're going to get those 3500 inshallah tonight inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. 